Morning YouTube. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging, blogging, my journey to and beyond gastric bypass, which I had 11 weeks ago tomorrow. So I'm post-surgery. I'm doing really, really well. I'm, I'm not going to say I've stuck to absolutely everything I needed to. I struggle to get the amount of fluid down in the daytime, especially if I'm busy. Protein's still a bit of an issue because I'm not having enough. I just reminded myself to chug, chug, chug and drink. And um, so, yeah, but it's all going really well. And I have a confession to make this morning because I got on the scales yesterday when I got back from our motorhome trip at the weekend. My glasses look odd. This is where I never, ever stay focused, by the way, guys. I look at something generally on myself and think, oh, my God, look at that or look at that. So I apologize that I can't stay in one track I kind of tend to go off here there and everywhere and yeah you'll get used to me if you've only just started following or you'll get really bored and bugger off I don't mind which so my confession this morning is that I got on the scales I think after having a weekend like I did and you know you're meant to drink a certain amount of fluid to help your weight loss and um, eat properly all the rest of it and I, and I didn't so I thought I was actually expecting a little bit of a gain if I'm being honest I haven't done any exercise for maybe three weeks now i did sort my nails out last night though because i couldn't bear them anyway they're a bit shorter um off track again schizophrenic i think that's why yeah so my weight just to give you a quick because i did it i'm not going to lie about it that i got on the scales and you know thought i was going to have a gain and i actually was really pleased because this morning i am 96.6 kgs. I started at 120 kgs. I'm 96.6 kgs. I've lost 23.4 kgs. In pounds, that is, I started at 264 pounds, 264.6 pounds, don't forget the six, and I now currently weigh 213, so that's a loss of 51.6 pounds. Whoa. Just briefly in stones, that is, I was 18 stone 12, I'm now 15 stone 3, I've lost 3 stone 9. That next 3 stone, for me to get under 15, possibly I haven't been under 15 stone in over 20 years. So that's going to be a huge milestone. While I don't set myself goals or anything on this journey, it's going to be a milestone that I'm going to kind of celebrate a bit because, yeah... I know I met my husband, um, we got together 17 years ago, or nearly 18 years actually, and um, at that point I was 15 stone something, so my weight slowly gained, slowly, over the years. Um, anyway, anyway, that was my confession today, that I didn't wait till weigh in on Thursday and I've jumped on the scales, but thankfully I had a really good result, so I'm, I'm not grumbling about that. I need to just move this so I can see the time, which I can't see because I rambled so much yesterday that, that I had to cut off the beginning. So I apologise to anybody because it started really weird with me talking about Pinky Rosher because I'd already gone into this big spiel, which maybe I'll try and go over because I was talking about my weekend. I opened a little window into my soul for you guys. I hope you realise that. I opened this little window to let you know what a schizophrenic weirdo I am. I shouldn't mock about that actually, but you know, I am a bit of a weirdo. Um, and, I, 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 and I'm really pleased that my video yesterday, for those that have watched it, ha came across in the right light. It was meant to be funny, haha. It wasn't meant to be a bitchy thing, you know, because normally during the month I could switch off that woman in the chip shop. You know, I could just not listen to her. But yesterday or sometimes you just absolutely can't do it. Now, I also wanted to do a few. Firstly, um, Rock and sometimes roll, RMY. How does your hair look so good putting it in an updo? I mean, I've just written against your video this morning. I look like, I still look like a grubby homeless person. I've washed it and put it up, but I just, because I don't have the curls, look at me, it's, it's, it's a mess. Or if you don't see the back of my head, I look like a skinhead. You know, it's like, oh my God. So anyway, I love your hair. You're very lucky. Pinky Rosher, I mentioned yesterday. Angela Marsden, thank you for your comment. Uh, Rachel George, thank you for your comment. Uh, Laurie, enlightened in MN, hello and welcome. Um, and anybody else that comments, I'm just going through a few, hang on. Joanne Hodgkin, always there supporting and watching my videos. Thank you to you. 
Um, I want to, the slim down is real. Hi, how's your LRD going? I hope it's well. Mandy, haven't heard from you all weekend. I'm going to drop your text today. Are you okay? You're recovering from your bypass from last week. Happy hand, no YouTube yet. And Liz, how's it going? How's it going? How's everybody? Sam Wood, hello. And Claire, she says she loves watching me. I remind her of one of her best friends who's also in the Shire as well. I'm from deep dark Berkshire, darling, just in the Shires. But anyway, anyway, I just wanted to say hello to a few of you because I, I you know, I, I'm just really grateful that you do follow me. And I've got nearly, I think I've got 149 followers and that's kind of unbelievable. And, you know, if I make you smile and laugh and I bring a bit of positivity into your lives, Lisa gets it every day, don't you, Lil? She's probably given up watching. She's probably like, I listen to Jan every day and I, I shouldn't have to watch her as well. She's at work trying to get on with her life and, you know. So, mm. The bit that I cut out yesterday before this cuts out, I was talking about my camping trip and how how relaxed you get. And I don't know about you girls, but when, you, when you're at home, us women, I don't know if there's any men that do watch this, but for us girlies, these are my girlies. When I'm at home and it's the end of the day, my bra comes off and I am in relaxed mode. But relaxed mode also means don't knock on my door because I'm not prepared to see anybody with my, my girls hanging loose. Um, my children and my husband are probably the only ones that are fortunate enough to get that little vision of me. Probably isn't a good one, but my point I'm making is, while I was away this weekend, um, I realized that when you're going from the motorhome to the shower blocks or the toilet or the bathroom and it's early morning or late evening you know you don't want to have to put a bra on every time you do it and I kind of looked around a bit more to this weekend just gone and I realized that other people are letting their girls hang free and I was like you know what we're all super conscious of it because I think a bra supports them makes them look probably central not one hung low or anything like that so mine has one hung low but anyway I felt this weekend, and this was the point I was trying to make, but I had to cut it off in the beginning of the last video, was that for this weekend, I'm getting more and more used to that way of life while we're in the camper van. I feel so relaxed when I'm away, and I feel relaxed and comfortable within my own skin without makeup on. Like I said, doing my hair, you know, just pulling it back. Today, I've made a bit of an effort with pulling it back, but if I'm camping, I literally have a, I'll wash it, put a brush through it and then scrunch it up and I don't care what it looks like it's a bit like motorhome hair who cares you know really and and I think that's quite refreshing for me in a, in a life where we're all so worried about what other people think all the time um I'm enjoying my camping lifestyle and yeah I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that that this is is something that's great for me talking of hair brings me on to another point now I am 11 weeks tomorrow since my surgery and I know that hair loss can occur around the four month mark. Well, I'm nearly the three month mark, so nobody can say whether it's, you know, textbook, four months, whatever. I know yesterday, no, Saturday in the shower while we were camping, a lot more hair came out while I was washing my hair than I liked or than normal. And then today it's happened again. I got a lot of hair out in the shower and then brushing my hair, there's a lot of hair. So I do believe that my hair loss has started. I hope at the moment there's nothing, I've got so much hair that I'm really hoping I'm not gonna see like patches of it disappearing. This is my normal hairline at the moment, um, but only time will tell. I will put a picture, disgusting picture on Instagram of my, so I've washed my hair in the shower this morning, loads has come out and I've gone, oh God, and then I've brushed it afterwards and there's more. So I'll show you what came out of my brush and I'll put that on Instagram. I hate those pictures, but it is part of it, right? This is, it, it is what it is. And, you know, I do take biotin every day for um, a nail and hair supplement. But who's to say, there's no, I suppose, science that it's gonna 100% work. And I know Happy Hand mentioned something about you lacking in copper and zinc and how, you know, her dietitian had told her not to take biotin for, for that reason. I think it was copper, correct me if I'm wrong, Han, but um, anyway, I, I'm not concerned about that because my dietitian knows that I'm taking it and she never commented. So, you know, I think 
the same as we've talked about before, you take bits of advice that you want to and you run with it. Now mine, mine would be, and yours perhaps should be, Hannah, listen to your dietitian because I'm going to listen to mine because that's what I paid for. So, so, you know, I'll carry on taking it because who knows, if I wasn't taking this biotin, maybe my hair loss would have started a lot sooner and possibly could be an awful lot more. So who knows really. Today is, it feels really muggy today here in the Shires. I quite like that by the way. It feels muggy and it's overcast and grey. I have to drive to Basingstoke to pick up a few bits. We bought a high pressured um, pump to blow up our awning for the camper van last week and it's a high pressure with no pressure. So that's got to go back to the shop and I'm going to go and collect a little bargain I've got on um, Marketplace for Willow because she's now got her daddy bought her a Wendy house for the garden and I've just got her a little secondhand kitchen to go in it so it can live in the garden. So I'm going to go and pick that up for my girl. And who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do? What else? I've got a lot to do around the house, really. Um, my son, bless him, he house sits while I'm away, Mason. And uh, it gets, I think as he's growing up, he's now 23, it gets more and more like, was he actually here? Now, that's a really good thing because I used to expect, oh, I've got to come home to a bit of a mess, whatever. And he's really clearing up after himself. So I just have to put it out there. I'm actually really proud of him. Bless his heart. He's even made the bed. I mean, God, what's going on? I know what it is. He's got a girlfriend. That's exactly what it is. He's got a really nice girlfriend, actually. She's from Texas and she's called Manny. We love her. She's a little diamond. Anyway, off track. I was going to tell you another funny story. I've probably got four minutes. No, I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it and I'll tell you it another time. Otherwise, it just YouTube would kick me off and tell me, forget it. No more, Janine. You talk too much. You talk too much sitting looking at yourself at the screen. See my baggy eyes as well. I said to Howard this morning, I think that that's because I slept really well when you get home. Of course, Friday night, we had this amazing thunderstorm. Pinky Rush will know it as well. She was in the same area. It was horrendous for maybe an hour and a half, two hours, rattled around, but it was an electric storm with lightning and thunder. And in a caravan, that's quite loud. I found it quite exciting, um, but perhaps not at 3.30 in the morning. Um, and then when Willow was staying the next night in the, in the awning with her mummy and daddy, I'd said to Chelsea, if I hear her wake up, I'll come and get her. She can come in with me. And of course I did hear her at 3.30 and I'm straight up like, can I help? And Chelsea said, oh mum, let me just try and get her back to sleep. And I was like, oh, I just wanted to cuddle you. <laughs> but I'm joking, she went back to sleep. She came in with me about seven in the morning. So I've had little sleep for me anyway, but I'm not grumbling because it was all worth it. Anyway guys, leave your lovely comments because I really appreciate them. If you haven't already, click like and subscribe. Both, please, it's always good because then I know you are actually human beings that are watching me not just YouTube trying to get the worst. Let's do this on here. And it'll probably use that for my picture, won't it? Yeah, so I should just pull some really weird faces. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a lovely Tuesday. It is today and Tuesday is kind to you all. I will speak to you again tomorrow.